what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are enjoying your day in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this cute burgundy and purple valentine's day set using the madame glam house of love gel polish collection we're gonna go ahead and do some swatches before the tutorial so these are the gels that they sent me they sent me over eight colors these are all cream gels i really love all the colors in this collection so i actually decided to do a video on them um, because these are my kind of colors um, i would wear these a lot so i figured it was worth it to do a video so yeah these are all cream gels so they're very pigmented this first shade is called love energy it's a very light lilac um color but it also has like a grayish undertone to it it's very pretty i love this type of color for some reason lately i've been like really obsessed with this type of color um, and as you can see they go on very smooth and they're super pigmented so all you really need is two coats usually with all madame glam gel polishes but two thin coats because if you overdo it um they will wrinkle up so you want to make sure they're thin because they're so like thick the polishes this next color is called magic dust and as you can see it's a bronzy gold shade this is definitely one of my favorites from this collection i love gold shades especially sparkly shades and another thing that I like about this collection is that the design on each bottle is different. It kind of goes with like the name of the gel polish, which I really like and I think it's cute and unique. I haven't really seen them do anything like this. I've seen them do like different bottle styles, but like not like a different picture on each one. At least as far as I can remember, I don't. So this next one is called Hard core and this is a gorgeous candy apple red this is one of my favorite shades of red i usually don't wear red nails but if i were to wear red nails it would be a color like this like a very hot red but like a candy apple red especially in the summertime it would look so bomb um so yeah this next color is also a red but it's a darker red and this one is called astro love i'm not too crazy about this one I don't really reach for darker reds like that unless I'm doing like, you know, maybe some fall nails, maybe to use it to do nail art, like a plaid or something like that. But I wouldn't wear this color all over my nails, but that's just my opinion. I typically go for more reds like the other one if I were to do red nails. This next one is actually the color that I use on my nails. It's called Synergy. It's a burgundy shade. I really love this color. I haven't really done burgundy nails on my channel, so I was like, I should use this color because I'm always doing like pink and stuff like that. Um, in the bottle, it kind of looks like plum, but on the nail it actually looks more burgundy and it's a really pretty color. I like it more on my actual nails. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. As you can see with one coat, they're pretty much full coverage. If you had shorter nails, I feel like you would only need one coat, but these swatch sticks are long. So I'm going to do a second one off camera. Um, and you do want to cure each layer for 60 seconds so that they don't wrinkle up. This next shade is an off white shade. And this one is called Moonchild. I really like this off white type of shade. It almost has kind of like a grayish undertone to it like when you look right at the top of the swatch but it's more like off-white when you swatch it and this next shade is a coral pink and this one is called the chaser and i love this type of coral pink um, i would definitely wear this type of color a lot it would look really pretty in the summertime as well i like how all the colors you can wear them all year round as well not just for valentine's day um but yeah this is definitely a very pretty coral pink um and then the last color is kind of like that other shade called magic dust except this one has more of a rose gold undertone i feel like it's a mix between a bronze and a rose gold because it does have a slight rosy undertone i actually like this one better than the other one if i had to choose which one it would be this one um, i don't really feel like you would need both necessarily um, but yeah if i had to choose it would be this one 
So here are all the colors after two coats and a layer of Madame Glam No Wipe Top Gel. I love all the colors. As you can see, the first two are pretty similar. So you don't really need both, I mean, unless you wanted them. But yeah, I'm happy with all the colors. If you guys are interested in any of the shades, check the description box for my discount code. So moving on to the tutorial, I'm gonna start by applying some base gel to my nails since I'm doing a mostly poly gel set. So I did mix shapes for this set. I'm using my extra long um, stiletto nail tips and also the coffin ballerina ones. I felt like just mixing it up and doing like two different shapes, I thought it would be kind of cute. So I did actually already prep my nails off camera obviously, so I applied my dehydrator and primer. And like I said, I'm going in with the base gel. I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. It's going to give your gel something to grip to so you don't get like lifting or anything like that. I do have a little bit of pink acrylic on my nails to protect them. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with a little more base gel on these next two nails and I'm gonna be applying some of these little heart glitters that I have. Um, they come with large, medium, and small hearts in this set, but I'm only gonna be using the small and the medium ones. This is gonna be kind of like a glass nail, but with um, a French at the tip after I file them. So I wanted these hearts kind of like peeking through um, the French, if that makes any sense. Since I already have pink on my nail beds, I'm not gonna cover up my nail beds with anything else. But if you wanted to do this look, I probably would go in with a little bit of pink poly gel or some nude poly gel to cover up your nail bed so you don't see your nail shining through. Um, because like I said, it's gonna be a French type of set. So you don't really want to see your actual nail through it because then it won't really look like a French nail. Um, so yeah, I'm just placing my glitters into the gel and then I'm gonna cure them in place. On the next two nails, I'm gonna apply this color from To Be Glam called The Feels. It's a purple glittery poly gel with different size holographic glitters in it. I thought it complemented the set really well because it kind of like went with the glitters and everything like that. And I wanted like some glittery accent nails. So I figured it would be a good color to use. So I'm gonna build these two nails up with the poly gel. Um, so I'm going to go in with one layer right now and then a little bit more after this just to like build the apex up a little bit more. These nails are pretty long so I did have to use a little bit extra. Um, but this poly gel is really easy to apply. I think this is from one of their new ones. I can't remember if it's from the pink one or the red one right now. Um, but yeah, I really love their new um, Valentine poly gel kits. The colors in them are really pretty. And like I said earlier, um, how the Madame Glam gels aren't just for Valentine's Day. It's the same with these. Like the shades are really pretty and I feel like you can wear them all year round because they're basically like pink, purples, and reds. You usually wear those all year round. But yeah, the colors are really pretty in these kits is my point. Um, and as you can see, the poly gel is really soft and applies smoothly. So I usually just start around the cuticle and then work my way side to side down the nail and smooth the nail out before I cure if you do have a little bit of a hard time like um, applying your poly gel like if it's too stiff or if it's not moving you can use a little bit of base gel as a slip solution um, i'm just using some isopropyl alcohol
I'm going to go ahead and add a very small bead to these two nails just to build up the apex area. Like I mentioned before, um, it was a little bit thin and I wanted some structure to my nails so that they don't break. So I just added a small bead and I'm just brushing it right over the previous layer and just blending it down into the tip. But I'm focusing more of the poly gel up by the apex so that I can build up the apex because it was pretty like flat. And to encapsulate the two glitter nails, I'm just going to use some clear acrylic because it's faster and I'm low on clear poly gel and I haven't really bought any more. So I'm just going to use my clear acrylic. Um, so I'm using Mia Secret Clear and I bought this new monomer and it kind of sets a little bit faster. So um, it, for some reason it was setting really fast. So you're going to see me like trying to brush it out, but yeah, it is what it is. But anyways, I'm just doing my usual three bead method as usual, applying my first bead towards the free edge to build that up. The second bead um, up by the nail bed area to start building my apex, kind of like right where the tip and the natural nail meet. Um, and then the third bead is a cuticle bead um, where I use that to build my apex. And I do just focus the acrylic in the area I put it so that obviously it stays in the area where I put it to build up that particular area. You want to kind of focus the acrylic wherever you put it so that your nails come out correctly shaped. Um, and then I just look at the nail and see if I need to add in a little more acrylic like I did here with that little gap. I don't know why that happened probably because the acrylic was setting too fast. Okay, so moving on to the filing, I'm going to go ahead and debulk these nails really quick. So as always, I'm using my Melody Susie Dust Collector and MR5 nail drill with a medium grit ceramic drill bit. So I'm just going to start around the cuticle um, and file around the cuticle to seal it. And then just kind of like smooth over the nails and file along the sidewalls. Um, you always want to keep your drill moving so that you don't cause friction on your nails um, and always file underneath your nails as well so you don't have any product just sitting under there or like plastic pieces but yeah you should always have your little hill like i always tell you guys for your apex um, and the sidewall should be the thinnest part of your nails so when you're looking down your nail um, they should be very thin on the sides but you should see the hill for your apex like towards the top of the nail in the middle um, and then like I said just get gradually thinner towards the free edge but you do want structure at the tip of your nails especially if you have long nails you want structure so that they don't snap and break. The apex is the strongest part of your nail but you also need some 
thickness at the free edge to support the rest of your nail, especially when you have extra length on them. Um, if they're too thin, they're just going to break eventually. Now I'm gonna go ahead and file the nails. So these tips are pre-shaped tips. So I'm just kind of redefining the shape since they're not really that out of shape. I just have to go back in and kind of just tighten up the shape a little bit with the hand file. So this is a 100, 180 grit hand file. And to do the ballerina shape and the stiletto shape, you want to hold your file at an angle and basically just file in towards the tip of the nail um, to redefine the shape. And you would basically just keep falling until you're satisfied with like how narrow the tip of the nail is. So if you want your stilettos super sharp or your ballerina nails really thin, you would just file in the tip a lot. Um, but I'm not like making my stilettos super sharp. I'm just rounding off the edges at the bottom so that they're not like super pointy. Um, and the ballerina nails, I'm just leaving them regular. Um, so to follow the free edge, I just hold my file at an angle and file straight across on the ballerina nails And then I'm gonna buff out the scratches on the nails with my buffer
take, no, don't you Just say you will Now that the nails are filed, I'm going to start by painting the French on the nails. So I'm using my detail brush in the number 3 and that burgundy shade called Synergy. So I usually start by outlining how I want the French to be. I'm doing like a very um, like deep V-line French. So I'm kind of doing the outline how I want it and then I'm just going to fill in the nail and I basically just tighten up my lines. Um, and that's really all I do. It's super easy. And sorry if my head gets in the way. I didn't really realize that it was in the way. I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on this nail except this is the stiletto shape but I'm doing the same exact thing just outlining where I want the French and filling it in then just tightening up my lines before I go ahead and cure. I feel like the French adds a nice touch to the little heart nails. It just makes them look really cute. I love like how the falling hearts are in between the French. I wanted to add a little touch of glitter to the fringe so I'm actually going to be outlining it with this um, diamond glitter gel polish from Burano. It's like the pink one. It matches the gel polish from Madame Glam perfectly and I felt like it just added a little something to the nail rather than just being plain burgundy and sorry my head is like really in the way like get it together <laughs> but anyways I'm just outlining the fringe. So now I'm going to paint the X's and O design on this nail with that off-white shade called Moonchild. I'm just drawing a little X and an O and then a heart off to the side. I felt like it added a little something extra to the nails and it came out really cute. It made it more Valentine's Day-like. Um, so yeah, after I cured that, I'm just going to go ahead and top coat the nails and underneath the nails um, because we have the glassy ones. So you always want to top coat under the glassy nails. I just ended up top coating underneath all of them so they could be smooth under all the nails. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this set. I love the way they came out. I love the color combination. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you're not already and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you guys.